Red Gamescom 2016, and we're catching up on Mafia 3. I've got Matthias here, sign director. Seems like you're in charge of pretty much everything then. Uh, what can you tell us of what you're showing here at Gamescom? So it's an updated version. We're pretty much um, giving people more perspective of what they saw at E3. There we showed Lou and we had this riverboat mission. And um, because Mafia is pretty much a pyramid, right? It's like a whole bunch of layers of management, if you will. Um, Lou is a brother of Sal Marcano, like the Mafia boss, the Italian guy who actually runs the city. Um, we are shown in this demo um, who's running downtown. It's this guy called Tony Durazio. And he's the bookkeeper for the entire mob in New Bordeaux. And um, by doing this mission, he's holed up in his penthouse, like he lives on top of a hotel. Um, we're pretty much showing a little bit what you do to drive him out and then a bunch of different ways in which you're actually able to infiltrate, get up to that penthouse and finally um, finish him off. But by doing that, you're actually getting the information which allows you to go after Lou Marcano, which would then be a really big step um, to get to sell. All right. So, so it's sort of... It build, it, there's like a chain of things that you, you need to progress through. But there's also, you've talked about a pyramid, there's a pyramid of reaching to that stage, that mission, right? To sort of unlock that, to, to, to enable that, right? Yeah, well, Lincoln wants to go after the Italians, but he doesn't just want to go after um, Salma Cano. He actually says pretty early on to his buddy Donovan, he's the CIA operative we've shown mm -hmm. in Senate hearings, for example, um, I'm not just going to kill this guy because that would be pretty easy. I'm going to put on some face pain. I'm going to snipe this guy. I mean, he was a CIA operative like Black Ops in Vietnam. He could do that. He actually wants to destroy everything that's near and dear to um, Giuseppe Marcano. And that's why he's slowly unraveling his entire um, crime empire. Not just to get to Marcano, but also to get to Georgi, who is um, it's actually kind of his buddy, or so he thought. We see this in this new Gamescom trailer that we just showed, which shows the beginning of the game. It shows how the black mob and the Italian mob fall out. And you actually see um, Lincoln and Georgie pull off this heist. And in the end, um, Georgie's daddy tells him, well, we have one more thing to do, and that ends with everybody, everybody being left for dead. Um, so it's very methodical, and it's actually, you know, it's a form of... I don't know what the right word is. It's not torture itself, right? But it's like this: he's slowly going after Marcano, making him more one out, two, one tooth at a time, pulling yeah, up. Yeah. Pretty much, and um, and what's interesting then is, of course, is um, seeing Sal Marcano react and go into more and more desperate measures trying to counter this attack. It's interesting because that's sort of his personal mo motivation. But as a player, your motivation may, may be to build that empire, to sort of mm -hmm. build up your organization, and sort of build your mafia yourself so it sort of works in two two ways in that sense yeah it's this two-pronged approach right and that's something that lincoln certainly does as well i mean so for one i feel and we're showing like in our little game storm demo that's like about the first couple of hours of the game or so is actually a lot more character building which i think I, I love it because it really makes me care for the black mob it really makes me care for ellis who is um, lincoln's like stepbrother his, his dad and so on so i think you're going to feel that like feeling of revenge as well but yes mm -hmm. lincoln and the player then will also build their own crime family. They do this by um, gathering these three underbosses around them and he's creating this really unconventional family, right? Because you have Cassandra, a Haitian mob boss, you have Vito, like an Italian disgraced mob boss, and you have um, Burke as um, the Irish guy. And um, he's promising all of them, you know what, if you help me take down Marcano and you help me run the city, you're going to run the city at one point. And they all expect that. So not just actually gathering power and building this family, but then keeping peace within the family, keeping everybody happy, making good on your promises, that's going to be an interesting aspect as well. Because if you don't do that, these guys are going to walk out on you. Like there's these sit-downs where they all come together and divvy up the city. Um, there might not be three chairs with people in them anymore at the end. It is very interesting, and we got one of them behind you on the on the left there. Uh, what's interesting about them as well is that they're not just sort of, you know, you call them underbosses, but they're very much fully fledged out characters that you know have their own sort of personalities and all that. Very interesting to see. We've we've sort of been been fed a few videos and and mm -hmm. and featurettes with with information on that. And what what can you tell us of their their character and 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 how they progress in the game? 
It's interesting. These guys then have underbosses themselves, or lieutenants as well, which you get to meet. Um, but yeah, so these are three guys. The smaller, marginalized crime factions have always been under um, Salma Khan's thumb and mm -hmm. see this as the big chance. They all have some sort of motivation for why they want to do it and some sort of backstory. Um, I think for Vito, it's the easiest one to kind of imagine because um, everybody will want to know what happened to him in the last 10 years. We've hinted at it in social media a little bit, right? But there's definitely going to be more backstory there you can find out. So he's pretty much trying to get back to Salma Khan because he was a made man. Um, he was sent to New Orleans and he had a fallout with Salma Khan was pushed to the side, so there's specific motivation there. Um, Burke has his own motivation. He mm. used to work for um, Selma Kano at one point. Um, Cassandra is much more mysterious there and is exactly why she's doing it. But yes, they all have like very fleshed out um, backstories. And if you do favors for them as you go into the game, you might find out more about it. Mm. I certainly don't want to get on Cassandra's bad side, though. I think when I'm playing the game, I'm going to make sure that that I'm good to her. Well, and that's why every player story is unique, right? That's like our motto right there. Because yes, we've had, we've had people play the game and you know they really like Mafia 2, for example, and they said from the beginning, I'm going to give everything to Vito. And then when they're playing the game, they actually have, they don't do that anymore. And we see them apologizing to Vito. Don't worry, you're going to get the next thing. Because yes, Cassandra you know, seems like the better choice. And so for one, it's characteristics and these guys just having their own personality, how much you like them. But they can also help you in the fight against the mob, right? So they can bribe you with various better weapons and upgrades and so on. But they also have this um, chain of associates where as they go in power, they unlock various things for you can, you can use in your fight against Salma Kano. Mm. So for example, if you upgrade Vito far enough, he's going to send in his Italian muscle who can come and fight side by side. For Burke, he might give you ways to control the police, for example. So that adds a whole bunch of different decision layers onto actually like assigning out the city. And if you're going to give it to Vito or Cassandra, um, it's going to be an interesting choice. Mm. That is cool, and it sort of sounds like it's sort of a, a zero-sum game in some ways, but it also you can also do things to sort of make it a little bit bigger than zero, if you will. So it's not it's not a fixed zero-sum game who you give favors to and who you get and what kind of favors you get. So can you potentially sort of not give anyone anything and sort of not have any of them, or how how far do you let the player sort of manipulate that? So Lincoln wants to run the city with these guys, so yes, you will be assigning the city to one of these guys, but if you, you might only have one guy at the end because that's, on, that's all you really cared about. And you Would it be more difficult then? Well, in some ways it makes it easier because you have fully upgraded this guy and what um, he or she can actually give you is going to help you in your fight against the mob. On the other hand, you're not going as broad. And of course, you really ha are paying the price of relationships and you're going to have two enemies on top of Selma Kano who are not going to come after you. So. I wouldn't say it's easier or harder. It's certainly an interesting choice to make, and you know that's again where every player story is unique. Very cool. Uh, we are sort of closing in on release. It's very close at hand now. Well, at least in terms of like you guys, I'm sure you're right on the final stretch. How do you feel about the product right now that you're playing back home? We didn't get to play it here, mm -hmm. but how do you feel about it? It still keeps surprising me, which is really awesome. I really like playing it and um, working until the last minute to make it as perfect as possible. It's going to come out on October 7, right, for PC, PS1, Xbox One. Um, I'm at the point now where I'm just playing the game again and again and we're just polishing everything up. And yes, I like playing just the lower level because I'm still finding ways in which I can actually like play parts of the game that I've seen a hundred times and I just didn't know about it. And this is where one of the designers, for example, put a sniper spot on a roof over here. And you're looking into a backyard and you see this whole criminal operation going on where like Makano is, you know, doing something illicit. And realize, oh, wait a second, um, I've never actually driven a car into this and see what happens if I come in here with like this big, like, just trying to mow everybody down. And then you find out, oh, wait a second, there's a sniping spot over there. So those are the kind of things I really like about the game because there's so many different ways in which you can play it. Even the demo we're doing here, which is like live played by one of our producers, um, even though we're always showing the same mission, we're actually doing some audience participation where people can decide how we should approach it. They had multiple approaches into that um, mission. You can either sneak in or you can go in guns blazing and there's still things that just surprise me every time when he's playing it well, that's good that sounds promising thank you so much for your time yeah thank you so much you might pour on one more though couldn't pull it off without you sammy